Hello everyone, it's Miranda and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be what I consider for my channel a very highly requested video and that's going to be my Notion tour. And I'm so excited to be filming this because I live and breathe Notion, I use it every single day to track lots of personal things and I'm so excited to take a deep dive with you into my Notion and I will have my personal templates that I use linked in the description down below for you to use as well. And without further ado, let's get started. I am in my Notion, as you can see here is my main dashboard. The first thing I have here on the left hand side is something called everyday my 2024 goals is the first thing because I don't want to forget that it's at the forefront of my mind and I did a whole video about my goals for 2024 and if you like to check that out I will leave that link down below because I do build a little notion template which is this and I talk about all of my goals you can see here if I click on my 2024 goals that's going to open up a page which has my different goals here and inside of it for example let's go to my running one which I have started you can see I'm tracking my runs i'm tracking the date and the time the location phase all of this and this is all for my running goal of 2024 underneath 2024 goals i have my content calendar my content page i will be doing a separate video on only a few days away this video is coming out on sunday on the following wednesday i'll be posting my notion tour for content creators video so i won't be talking about my content calendar or anything of that sort in this video but if you just wait a few days you'll be able to watch that video as well if you would like to find out more of how i use notion as a content creator specifically. Underneath this, I have two little like checklist routine things. So these are just like reminders. They are not things I have to do, but you can see here in the wellness checklist, it says vitamins, 80-20 eating and cycle syncing practice. And then my morning routine, non-negotiable. This is something that I wrote at the beginning of this year, which I thought this would be a really great morning routine to have. It's very simple. I needed something that was an hour or less just so I can do every day regardless of work. Cause I do work a full-time job where I can't choose my schedule. So some days I have to go in a little bit earlier than others and I wanted to have a consistent morning routine that I would do every day. This, I won't lie, has been very difficult to keep up with because one of the things for me is that even if I wake up early, like sometimes I'm up at 5am at the gym at 5.30 or 5.45, it still takes me forever to actually wake up and by that I mean if my alarm goes at 5, I probably won't be fully awake until like 5.30 or almost 6, which is really bad. So I'm trying to get in the habit of alarm goes off and I'm up. It's been really difficult for me. So this right here is kind of like my like super ideal morning routine on a very good day and underneath here you have one of my favorite things which is my budget tracker I do lots and lots of what I spend in a month videos and personal finance videos on this channel I love talking about finance and just being on top of your money and budgeting and saving for what you want especially as a female in their early 20s as you can see here this is for January and I will be posting my video first Sunday of February of what I spent so we're not gonna be looking at that just yet it's only halfway to January anyway but this I always have link under my everyday my budget page for that month so I can quickly go in and input um, anything that I've spent that month and it's very accessible from my main dashboard now here under the this week it's my kind of little to-do list so I mentioned in my morning routine you can see here it says check notion to do this is what I'm referring to about every Saturday or Sunday mainly I will go here and update my weekly to do's and it's just a very basic rundown of what my week looks like that specific day I might go in and add a couple things on like my paper plan but this notion to do just kind of gives me an overall idea of what my week looks like so you can see here yesterday I went on a run I washed my hair and I went to work those are all checked today I have to film which I'm doing that now so I'm just gonna check that with you all and then I have work after this and it's a really great way for me to quickly plan out my week without too much overload it's just a very quick list of like the main things underneath that I just have these four images and these photos are just four photos that I added that bring me joy it's Mamma Mia which is my absolute favorite movie of all time a picture of Harry Styles, my current favorite singer. I'm wearing his merch right now and I also have a tattoo related to Harry Styles. And then some little crystals and candles and incense for like the spirituality side and mindfulness of it all. And then Snoopy listening to music because I listen to music all the time. So this is like, it's not a vision board, it's just kind of like a mood board and energy board that I created, which I like to keep here, which is always fun when I scroll down and see this. Now coming over here to the top, to the right hand side, we have my discipline era. This list is kind of similar to what I talked about here on my wellness checklist and my morning routine this I made towards the later half of 2023 when I was trying to get back into routine a lot of times I feel like we start the year off very strong kind of fall through a bit and then we have like that mid-year reset where we kind of pick ourselves back up that's what's going on over here so the discipline era where I have a quote about how the secret of success is found in your daily habits which I really believe in that like if you want to take a huge step in achieving your goal whatever that may be you can't do that without all the little increments of like ups and downs and big steps and little steps in between so that quote just reminds me that 
whatever you do today is you showing up for your future you so that's why I have that there and it's a really great reminder for me to keep showing up for myself every day because it's only going to benefit me more in the future and this right here again is not something that I go in and actually check every day or every week if I've done it's more so of a reminder because like I said I use notion every single day so having this here is a great reminder for me to just see because my mind is just very scatterbrained and if I don't have little reminders everywhere that I check so for my phone calendar my notion and then like I have a little gallery reminder wall up on my my like desk if I don't have those I'm gonna forget to do a lot of things or it will be very in and out of what I do and don't do on a daily basis so having this reminder really helps me to just kind of be more mindful about discipline and little improvement every day so that's why this is here it is useless in the sense that I don't go in and check it off but very helpful in the sense that seeing it reminds me to be better in terms of my lifestyle choices and my mindfulness choices and then underneath that is where you have the rest of my dashboards this part that says here our home this is a board that I made when Tim and I were about to move to London so we've been together for almost five years now we're actually ten days away from our five-year anniversary which is really nice and exciting we met in university and we dated through all three and a half years of uni pretty much almost all four years and we wanted to move to London afterwards because we met in the University of Aberdeen in Scotland so I made this when we were planning to move out and move in together in London and I wanted to be a little bit better as well what I will say quickly just bringing you back to the main dashboard is this every day here the goals the calendar the budgeting and then the this week like this left hand side of my dashboard is what I use pretty much every single day every week and I stay on top of it all of these extra dashboards are things that I either use occasionally or want to use more often but I just don't have the time right now to actually update every single thing of my life but I still wanted to share because I still built these boards and they can be really useful for other people as well so going back to our home the Sunday reset and monthly reset are little lists and reminders of what we like to do together on a weekly and monthly basis to kind of reset our flat and our space and our finances and then inventory is one that I wish I could properly use but we just don't have the space for it in this one bedroom flat unfortunately so in the inventory these are all random examples that I made they're not like legitimate things that we've done basically I wanted to have kind of like everything that we use that is pantry or toiletries or supplies for the flat I wanted to have a list of inventory because usually those things you don't buy one of like if you buy like a paper towel it's come the pack of two or four and it's like when you buy things in bulk like that you kind of end up forgetting when you have to top up because you're just replenishing the ones that you have and then this inventory thing is kind of meant to be like a really helpful way to when making that weekly or monthly grocery list you can check here and see what's urgent what do I have to buy or what's coming up soon that I might need to buy so that's kind of what the plan was for this I will be honest we don't use it at all I would love to use it maybe if you have like a bigger house where you you generally have more pantry and supplies to stock up on this could be quite useful so I'll still link it as a template back to our home we have grocery staples and meal plan grocery staples is just a list of a bunch of random grocery items that I would love to have in our flat all the time and then meal plan we didn't use but we had a time where we were really good at meal prepping together and so we had a little plan written down but we just haven't used that in a while back to the dashboard you can see here bucket list this one's gonna go over very quickly because I haven't actually built the page yet it's a page I want to build um, but I'm just showing it to you this is the reality of what it looks like it's just I want to actually make a proper list with tags even have written down here as you can see for different things that I want to do or experience in my lifetime after the bucket list I have something called time to eat and this is just a place where I can put in recipes that I want to try or recipes that I have tried and rated them just so that I can go back and if I'm craving something that day or I'm not sure what to make I can go in here underneath that we have my cleaning tracker now this is another one that I created I was using and then I completely stopped but essentially it is this big tracker of everything that needs to get cleaned or sorted through in my apartment which is so annoying about how many things you have to keep track of which is why I made this I haven't used a cleaning tracker but I will still leave it if you're interested in having this because again I want to have time to be able to use these things but with full-time job and pursuing YouTube at the moment I just don't have a lot of free time so this has become something that I don't use but I really want to start using and tracking it because if I'm honest with you if I want wash my towels like let's say last week Monday or something I'm gonna forget what exact day it was and I really like to know the exact date of things which is why I love to plan so that I can be on top of my things you know on top of my game so that's why I have the cleaning tracker and I do really want to actually use this 
um, as a, a regular thing on a regular basis. My budget planning is one of my favorite pages because it's where I plan my budget and where I track all of my spending. You can see here 2023. I just posted a video the week before this on everything that I spent in 2023. But this is where I would go to track. And then when I add a new page, I've created this little monthly template button. So if I add that month, it would then load and you can go in and adjust it. So I'm going to give an example of this one that doesn't have any personal data. But if I do add a new month, it's the same thing that this one would do but without my information it would add the monthly budget template so here you put the total amount for that month that you have a spending money fixed you make a list here of all of your fixed costs so your rent your bills subscriptions things like that and then the total of those fixed costs and then you just take the amount they have for the month minus the total of your fixed costs and that's how much you have left for your variable costs and then you can go in and break it down into your different categories of how much you want to assign each category to budget wise and then how much you have left at the end of the month if any and then any credit card statement to pay can go here and then this is where you'd go to add so let's say that i spent 20 pounds at lidl and then the category for that would be groceries and there you go now you can see there's a sum at the bottom of my total for the month of my variable costs because the fix are already up here so you don't have to do anything about that and then at the end of the month you can see how much you spent and you can go in here on the subcategories and actually see all of your groceries together or pharmacy goods so that is how you would do that and that's how i track my my spending and i love this page Back to my dashboard, um, we have again content creation. Now I mentioned I won't be showing content creation in this video. So if you want to see a full detailed video of how I use content create, no, of how I use Notion as a content creator, you can just wait a few days and it'll be up on this upcoming Wednesday. Next here we have my vacation planner. Now, if I take you to 2023, you can see all of my trips for last year. This is just kind of like a gallery board view of all of my trips. Now you can go in if you want. I'll show you here if I added, a, I'll just go into this one. If I add a new city, so here would be the city name. And then I do have this pre-made template here where if you tap on that, it will give you this little pin and then you can type your city name here and it will populate with all of this where you can actually go in and plan your trip you can put some details here of when the trip is where you're staying if you have any like flight numbers you want to remember you can write that here this add an image place is where you can add an image from your trip after you go on it and then things to do where you want to go expenses and your itinerary so that's kind of what i built this for but i ended up using more so just to see a pretty visual of all of my trips and then 2024 this is what i have coming up i will be blurring the dates though but these are the trips i have coming up this year so far that are booked and it's a really great way for me to go back and see where i went and then if i want to i can go into that page and journal a little bit or add some photos from that trip and it's all organized in this like digital to scrapbook that's kind of the idea for this but I love my vacation planner and I will have this available as a template as well for you to use and then the, the migraine tracker it's literally just a calendar which I haven't been using but unfortunately I suffer from migraines which is really not fun and I know I have to be better about tracking them about when they're coming what I was doing how long they're lasting and unfortunately I haven't because usually whenever I get a migraine I don't have the energy or concentration to do anything you know if I have a migraine I don't want to go in and track it and then by the time it goes away I'll forget to do it which is a really bad habit that I'm trying to change but that's what that is and then this is just my templates which I'll be sharing with you so you're going to be able to copy my vacation planner my monthly budget the content creation will be available in the other video and then I still have to create my cleaning tracker the home inventory and the main dashboard layout for you to download as well that brings us to the end of today's video we just went through my entire notion and I hope you enjoyed today's video and that you got some inspiration and ideas for your own notion and that is kind of how I organize my life my work my money everything Thing, it's in Notion and the best part is that I can use it on my laptop I can use it on my phone on my iPad and it's also a website so even if I don't have my personal devices with me I can still sign into my Notion and access all of this from anywhere which I love so thank you so much for watching today's video I hope you enjoyed if you did please leave a like down below and subscribe as well and I'll see you in my next one bye